It's been a long time since the heyday of two-dimensional games came to a close. Today, 3D games permeate the video game market, and it's difficult to ever imagine the next blockbuster title being one with an old-school look. This doesn't mean the design styles and gameplay concepts of yesteryear are of no worth, though. Everyone from the biggest publishers to the smallest indie developers know this, so they fund and develop many fantastic, sometimes obscure, sleeper hits. Due to the low level of entry for creating these games, original IP is also a common sight, and there's a fairly recent title that defines modern retro games rather well. Terraria is a game that truly conforms to the old-school 2D game style, yet at the same time, it brings in the complex and expansive design of creation and exploration from modern games. Playing like a mix of Castlevania and Minecraft, Terraria is a fantastic example of how games made with retro design today are influenced by modern game mechanics. The traditionally familiar two-dimensional platforming style of the game is the first and foremost hook that draws people in. The all-encompassing and understood controls of left, right, jump, and attack makes the barrier of entry very low and learning curve almost non-existent. This allows Terraria and games like it to be very accessible, but relying on that alone doesn't get any title very far. The way Terraria gets away from the drudgery of its truly old-school counterparts is by incorporating two things from modern games a large open world and a crafting system. By implementing these two elements, Terraria appeals to gamers in a free-form manner, allowing them to go where they want and do what they want. The exploration mechanic plays into this perfectly too. Since the game has a very heavy focus on combat, players are encouraged to find rare materials and craft better armor and weapons, so they can trawl the deeper and darker depths of the world to find its treasures. Terraria is a shining example of just how fun modern retro-style games can be today. It's only the tip of the iceberg, though. Some games, instead of trying to look old school, center their aesthetic around parodying retro design. Game Heroes is one of the few titles ever made with the specific purpose of trying to spoof retro video game design. Unlike modern two-dimensional throwback games like Terraria, 3D.Game Heroes specifically attempts to look like a modern game trying to be old. Or maybe an old game jokingly trying to be modern. The point is, the game has very well thought out design that melds both modern 3D game technology and retro pixelated sprite art. The title's look isn't the only thing that harkens back to games of generations past, either. Everything from its 8-bit styled music, to its simple story, to its combat, all lampoon what older games encompass. While the novel visuals and accurate representation of retro game elements are what drive 3D. Game Hero's nostalgic appeal, it's the modern gameplay twists that seal the deal. Being able to upgrade and customize swords to be longer, wider, and even pass through walls puts a new twist on a tried and true formula that classic games established. Exploring, gaining extra health, increasing item limits, and collecting money has all stood the test of time, but the satisfaction of dumping scads of money into blade upgrades and seeing the results is very satisfying. It's through this upgrade system that 3D.Game Heroes manages to bring retro gameplay into a new light and prove that retro-styled games are still good, even in the modern game market. There's another step that old-school games in the modern market take, though, and this is a path that a well-recognized mascot has walked, too. Super Mario Bros. Wii is a game which basically rehashes all of the tried and true successful elements of past Mario titles. From the outset, it throws story out the window and focuses on gameplay alone. Just like games of yesteryear, there's little to no reason to play the game other than to do just that. Play. As far as visual appeal goes, the game's implementation of modern 3D graphics in a two-dimensional environment is seen in many lower-budget titles today. 
That isn't to say the game is bad, far from it. The fusion of newer graphics with retro gameplay, peppered with modern innovations garnered from years of game releases, come together creating an unexpectedly fun, yet challenging experience. What's most interesting about Super Mario Bros. Wii, though, is how it's a popular and successful title, despite rigidly holding to game mechanics that, at a glance, seem to be outdated. This is a testament to the quality of gameplay design from generations past. If the mechanics or design were truly obsolete or outdated, Super Mario Bros. Wii would have been a complete flop. Its continued popularity, though, is proof of its quality, and seeing as how it's akin to a culmination of generations of successful platformers, the popularity makes complete sense. The test of time is the hardest thing to endure, especially for video games. Even though some titles age poorly and fade into obscurity, it doesn't mean their mechanics do the same. As shown by many games today, retro style does not mean boring or dull. By mixing elements of modern game design with the rules of yesteryear, the results can yield games that feel retro, but play and are just as fun as any modern title. Until next time, this has been a video blog from B10G.net, April 30th. 2012. Strike out.